there! Kristen here with another Roll20 tutorial. This video will discuss how a game master can add music and sound effects to their game via Roll20's jukebox feature. You can find the jukebox by going to the sidebar and clicking on the jukebox tab. The jukebox streams audio from third-party website SoundCloud. You can either search and play audio supplied by other SoundCloud users or create a SoundCloud account and upload your own audio for use in your campaigns. When you create a new campaign, the jukebox will be devoid of any sound offerings. To add audio, click on the Add button. This will bring up a search window to start a search for audio tracks from SoundCloud. There's a drop-down menu to choose background music, sound effects, or to search all of SoundCloud. Input keywords to find tracks that suit what you'd like in your campaign. You can preview the tracks in the search results by clicking on the Play button alongside the desired track. If you would like to add the track to your jukebox, click on the plus button. If you wish to upload your own tracks to SoundCloud, make sure the tracks are set to public and use the tags Roll20, Ambient, or Orchestral so Roll20 search filters can track down your audio. If there's a particular track you found on SoundCloud's website, you can skip searching through Roll20 by pasting the URL of the desired track into the jukebox search field. If it's publicly available to stream, it will show up in the search results even if it doesn't use the Roll20 tagging system. This method also makes it faster to link to your own audio uploaded to SoundCloud, since it can take up to 15 minutes between the time you tag your audio and Roll20 to update its search findings. You can rename tracks added to the jukebox by clicking on the track name. Hit the return key to accept a name change. Jukebox tracks are listed in alphabetical order, so if you plan to include a lot of audio for your campaign, you might want to use a naming convention that will group related tracks together. When you press the play button on a track in the jukebox, that track will be streamed to you and all other players in your game. The loop toggle will infinitely repeat a track if it's checked off. And will only play once if not. You can play more than one track at a time, and you can also adjust the track volume on an individual basis. You and your players also have a master volume control slider in the settings tab underneath where you can set your display name. If you need to remove a jukebox track, hover your mouse over that particular track and a remove option will appear on the bottom right. Click this to remove the track from the jukebox. I hope that you found this tutorial helpful. Check out our YouTube channel for more Roll20 tutorials, and as always, you can read our help documentation over at help.roll20.net. If you have any further questions on how to use our virtual tabletop, visit the official Roll20 forums. Happy gaming!